Is it recording now? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest today, Miss Kristen from Boston, even though we're wearing our Fargo, our matching Fargo <laughs> shirts. And we're not in Fargo. We're not, no. We are in Minnesota. Kristen's here for a few days, so I figured we would do a drunk bake with me because clearly we have to do that. And I um, think we should take shots first. <laughs> Why? No. It's a drunk bake with me. I have a Justin Timberlake shot glass. Ain't nobody got time for that. Send help. Send she help. said drunk bake with me. <sighs> Cheers. This is going to taste horrible. Just hold your breath and swallow it. Preheat the oven right. for baking. Let in the take. That preheat. is nasty. Preheat the oven. Preheat yourself. <laughs> I like preheated my esophagus. The favorite mom is laughing at it. Yeah, she's watching. She's I, here to yes for the end result. Mom's on camera. Amazing. She is going to be taste testing a little bit later. She might join us if things get too out of hand. What are we drinking today? We are enjoying a Bella Sara Moscato. Uh, 2014 vintage. What a great year. Ooh. Clink. Oh. This is like solidifying that we're the same person. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fargo, Fargo. But like we are moving in the exact same way. Oh God. <laughs> when I edit this, it's going to be crazy. All right. So okay. today we are making Georgetown Cupcake Red Velvet from yes. William Saloma. S Saloma. <laughs> wow. Were you drinking before this or no. what? No. <laughs> uh, William's Sonoma mm -hmm. Red Velvet Cupcake. We're gonna make that and we have all the accoutrements here. So is this like a store, Georgetown Cupcake? Yes, I believe it's like a bakery and they have like a specific kind of mix. Um, um, okay, cool. So anyway, we need to follow the directions on it, but here's what we have with us today. We got Kerrygold, pure Irish butter, unsalted. It's the best butter on the planet. That's what I heard. That's what she told me. I was like, I don't know, I whatever says that unsalted. Irish butter. We got some Philadelphia cream cheese because we're gonna make the frosting as well. We've got some Wilton things. So we have the roses and leaves and leaves. And then Kristen picked out some bows. And then Lisa, that's for like the like the little topper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got a heart on here, but I didn't really want a heart. It's I it sounded like you said you had a heart on there. <laughs> they have a heart on the jar. It sounded like that. <laughs> but I don't want an art on my cup. I'm like, what are you talking about? Holy shit, this is already getting weird. Luster dust. Oh, it's like shimmery to make yeah to make the sh the shiny frosting. And then we got some Wilton bags, coupler, and then the thing. It's number thirty-two. Some pure vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. A market pantry. You can find it at your local Target. Target boutique. This also I got from Target, and it's just like a muffin cupcake tin thing. Don't tell favorite daughter Emily, but my muffin tins are rose gold. Powdered sugar. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's one thing that's different between us. I adore rose gold. Yeah, we got we need liners. The we got the liners. Yeah. They are gold, not rose gold, like nasty people do. So the story of Georgetown Cupcake began back in 2008. <coughs> When the Washington DC bake shop was founded by the sister team of Catherine, not pronouncing that, and Sophie LaMontagne, mm -hmm. best-selling authors of the Cupcake Diaries. So here you go, there's a little history on the back of the can if you need it. Oh, I have the whippy thingies. Whippy thingies! So I, so the directions always um, call, like if you ever get like a package mix, it always calls for either um, milk or water. I always use heavy whipping cream. So I substitute everything I make from a box with, like if it calls for milk or water, we go straight for the heavy whipping cream. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Oh gosh, not again. It's time for ears, we all say cheers. I need the things in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's gonna be like a extra creamy. Okay, why don't you throw that in the microwave for about, it's kinda squishy, but not super squishy. Why don't you throw that in the microwave for about 15? Minutes? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seconds. Yeah, that's that's oh, good mushy butter. Oh yeah, look at the mush. Okay, look at the mush. It's sealed for our protection. Mm. That's what she said. <laughs> it is what she said. Oh yeah. Oh, oh it's even sealed oh. again. So there's well there's the sugar mix, which I'm I'm guessing is this guy. Do you have a mixer? 
I do. Oh, okay. I didn't throw that away. <laughs> Can you crack an egg one-handed? No. I'm not cool like that. Ah. Oh. 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 So many shells, guys. Oh, so look many. Look at shells. one. Oh no! Don't get that. Look! 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 I got two. <laughs> I got two. Shells are good for you. Don't want you shell? No, don't give him a shell. I'm like, no. Okay. The conclusion is Doyle does not eat egg shells. No. Guess what color they are, everybody? White. I was really surprised that she wanted to make red velvet cupcakes. Only because... reason is because my mom likes them. Yeah, like they are mom. mama's favorite. So. Yay! Oh, oh, like, turn don't, it. Don't beat your mixer like that. <laughs> That's what she beat said. it. <laughs> Just beat it. Let's whip it. Whip, whip it, it good. good. <laughs> We did not follow the directions properly. <laughs> God dang it, girl! Follow the directions. We're gross and shared germs. I'm gonna go away. Same person. Doesn't so. matter. Pretty good, right? Yeah, I like so it. So now we divide it into the cupcake tin. So let's get these guys in Whoa. here. We've got some. Whoa, shoot. You didn't know that was gonna happen? No, because I'm dumb. Hi, welcome. Oh, it's not even on camera. It doesn't count. Ha! Okay, so we put the liners in the pan. We did not make a mess. We did, but it's not, you can't see it, so it's okay. My favorite oh. and slash least favorite thing about baking is trying to then get the mix into the things. Oh, I like that. Cleanly. Oh, I like it. Okay, here. So, um, you spoon, I actually ice cream scoop. Oh, my, I, mm. um, But you can spoon. I'm a spooner. Buns. Oop, there we Ooh, go. Yeah, 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 okay. okay. We're down here now. You Two need spoons. A, you need a double spoon. You need a double spoon. I know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, help me. Help me. Help. <laughs> help me. Help me. Shh. Don't tell anybody. I messed up. This seems like a lot for 12 cupcakes, homegirl. It didn't look like that much. But it does. It's like a lot. Um, but they're pretty dense though, right? Like. Okay. It's kind of a lot. You need more in this one. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to like consistently, I'm consistently inconsistent. Okay, like let's mm -hmm. just, oh shoot de boobs. These are really good. Yeah. These are good. This is a good cupcake. Okay. Do you want a beer, mama? No, I don't want a beer, I want to lick. She yeah, wants to lick. lick. Yeah, lick the beater, a beater. Mm. What do you call this in Minnesota? Oh, I thought you said you want a beer. No, a beater. That's oh, what I man. thought, you said a beer and I was like, <laughs> A beater. I don't even think I have beer. This like, is good. I know, right? <laughs> Imagine what it's gonna be like when it's all baked okay, up. Okay, screw baking. We're just gonna eat the the mix. No. Yeah. Hey, salmonella. Watch your language on the YouTube. I can bleep it out. Oh, bleep, 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 bleep. I've got the power of editing in my hands. We're busy. I'm gonna give me, give me the bowl. She's busy. Hold on. Mama wants the bowl. Mm. Mama wants the bowl, mama gets the bowl. Into the oven they go. 23 minutes? 21 to 23 minutes. Mm. Well, okay, so there's another thing that I do to cake and cupcakes before I put them in the oven. I give them a little bang. Why? I don't know. Something about air bubbles, I've been told by and my grandmother. Seems like violence is the answer today. <laughs> you can do that to cake mixes too. Okay. Yeah, I do it to every baked good yes. I make. Uh, breads, cakes, I don't know. I just, I, I've been told my whole life to beat them up a little. <laughs> to which I do. So if I was here alone, I would not be doing that because I don't know these things. I wonder if my tongue's red. Oh, it totally is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so we're good. So we're gonna do some Q&A because I asked you guys, oh. I think there's gonna be an outfit change. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Let's take a quick <laughs> intermission and drink some more. First question is, where and how did you meet? And I'm gonna let Kristen answer this because she's got a surprise for everybody. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you wanna know how we met, and no, I'm not in a plushie or a furry game. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I fell in love with these dogs. When I was a young gal. Shiba dogs. Um, my father was born in Japan. And so I have always had a love affair with Japan, which means I have a love affair with Japan's dogs. So I got some Shibas. She she got went online. She's got some Doyle dogs. I have a Doyle dog. His name is Miso. Mm -hmm. Looks like 
Doyle, looks like that. Um, and then I have a cream Sheba named Saki, mm -hmm. who has a lot of medical issues. So I went in line trying to find help for my Sheba's issues. And I found this lovely forum of Sheba people. Um, it was all basically all the Japanese dog breeds, but I was in the Sheba group. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a guy on there that had two Shibas that were, you know, he used to take really nice pictures of them. And I'm like, oh, that's really nice. And looked at his pictures and I'm like, oh yeah, great. And, uh, and then somehow, this was like almost 10 years ago, so it's very hard to recall. Yes, this is a long time ago. Uh, 10 years. <laughs> we met on the internet 10 years ago. Yes, we did. Short story. Okay. Um, <laughs> more wine. More wine. <laughs> um, so this guy was like, yeah, I have another friend who has a Shiba. And somehow or other, like Emily and I, friended each other on Facebook. We did. And talked about our dogs. Because, because they're about the same age. Yes. And this is back before Facebook was like extra creepy. Right. It's really creepy now when everyone has their like Facebook profile. I'm sure if I friended it. her today, she'd be like, uh, no. Like who is this? And what yeah, is happening? This crazy lady in a sheep costume. <laughs> I'm really hot, I gotta take this off. All right, to be continued. Yeah, look, it's gonna take. Oh God. <laughs> We met on Facebook mm -hmm. about almost 10 years ago. Yep. And we bonded over our Shibas. Yep. And we talked on and off. We liked each other's posts. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of talked like here and there. And then like once James was born, her son, we just talked a lot more, I felt yeah. like. As soon as he was born. So yeah, so my son was born, um, James is adopted. And he was born with uh, neonatal abstinence syndrome, which means he was. There's the favorite mama. Oh, hi, mama. In her natural I'm habitat, for drink. looking for something. Oh, Diet oh. Coke. Oh, yeah, she runs on Diet wah, Coke. Wah. <laughs> um, so neonatal abstinence syndrome, which means he was born with drug exposure. So he was in the hospital for 37 days, um, withdrawing from opiates. So um, we were in the hospital for 16 hours a day mm -hmm. for 37 days with him. And um, I talked to Emily a lot in that time. Yeah. <laughs> because babies sleep and babies who are withdrawing from drugs sleep a lot more. So I had a lot of time to just sit and watch him sleep and hold him while he was sleeping. Yeah. And wasn't it that like you couldn't <coughs> do certain things like diaper changes and some feet, like you could do some well, things, no, but I did everything. most of it, but the they nurses, had to like come and record yeah, everything. So the nurses so. had to come in like every three hours to get a weight yeah. and to see how much he had eaten and to take his temperature, right. to check his vitals, to give him his medication. So, so there was, was always, like a lot of waiting around kind yeah. of stuff for her at least. Um, so we talked a lot then, and yes. then we've just been friends ever since. And if you yeah. watch the channel, she came to Boston. I did. I will link them down below. Oh, no. She's so waiting for me to say that. Um, and James is actually in the video. He was yep. the cameraman for a little while that he weekend. He was. Yeah, but um, two summers ago? Yeah, it was two years yeah, ago. Yeah, two summers ago. And then, um, so this is her first time to Minnesota, and that was my first time to Boston. Yeah. So. So um, yeah, if you check out the um, Boston vlog, which of course is linked down, down below, um, you'll see some cool Boston crap. Like yeah. my father-in-law puts lobsters to sleep. It does. Check yeah, it that out. was fun. That was really um, cool. And also lobster, uh, Emily trying to pick a lobster, which is where you take the lobster meat that out of the shell. That was epic. Hysterical. Mm -hmm. So that's basically so that's how we met. How we met. And yeah. we've just been friends ever since. And it turns out we're exactly the same person. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. Now we're friends for life. <laughs> And I came over here. Whoop whoop. Oh no, here's and what's happening. I found out that I have two daughters that are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically. How would, who would have known? <laughs> who would have known? <laughs> what do East Coasters think of Minnesota? Listen, Phil. <laughs> that, was a, that was a question from my brother. Listen, Phil, you're not here this weekend. He's here next weekend. Yeah, but I'm not here next weekend. I know, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Listen, Phil, I'm not answering your question. Next, no, out of spite. Just kidding. Um, what do I think of Minnesota? Everything's on a stick, and it's amazing. Yeah, uh, we, we went, went to the, the state fair. Yeah, we went to the Minnesota State Fair. Yeah, and that's the reason I'm here this weekend because of the fair. Mm -hmm. And those um, videos will probably be up before this video if I haven't said that already. We ate all the a things. lot of things on sticks. I got a shirt that's like the state of Minnesota on a stick, which is amazing. Yeah, it's basically um, the whole reason for being. So, what do I think of Minnesota? It's there's a lot of corn fields. What do I think of Minnesota? I think it's great. I think it's, you know. Good times. Is this the Midwest? 
It is. Yeah, it's, I think it's very Midwestern. Even though it's like right in the center of the uh, United States, but it's Midwest is what they call it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the summer it's great. I'm sure in the winter it sucks. Yeah, just like Boston. Well, Minnesota. Yeah, like Boston, exactly. The same thing. Yeah, just same. different. Same, but different. Yeah, the weather here has been, um, well, the State Fair, if you've watched the video, we had a great time. It was but, amazing and the weather was awful. But it was just so memorable. Rain down <laughs> rain. But it was so memorable but that it's like, you've got to do it. We were super happy about going to the state fair in the pouring down rain. It was fine. And I was like, what the heck is going on right now? Because we're crazy Minnesota people. We're like, we don't let some rain bother okay. us. We're like, let's right. do it. It was awesome. And my dollar store ponchos worked out great. So good. It was good. As you could see in the video. Mm -hmm. Which All right. is probably linked. Down, down below. below what do her and her husband do for a living do they have kids you already talked about having kids so yep we have james he's three and a half mm -hmm. he's amazing he's a perfect little crazy toddler who runs around like a madman um he's home with my husband and his uh grandma my husband's mom is staying this weekend and uh he's having a ball i facetime him um my husband uh we own a general contractor in Boston. Um, we work all over New England. Uh, I say we, I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> she takes care of a tiny human all day long. That's my job. Yeah. Which For is now. really hard. For now. <laughs> um, no, so he, so it's retail construction. So he does a lot of shopping centers, redevelopment of stores. If you ever see a store that's like putting in new fitting rooms, like he does a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, he builds new stores. He's also getting into some office work and some historical work in the town that he's in. Um, he's working on a church right now. That's um, part of the historic commission, whatever it's on like the Registry, registry of yeah. historical places. So yeah. he's like getting into kind of that a um, little bit of educational stuff with like some colleges in the area in New England. Mm -hmm. um, so they kind of do a little bit of everything, a little bit of restaurant. So like restaurant retail. Um, he knows a lot of developers, so he actually builds like the shopping center buildings. Not mm -hmm. like a big mall, but like, like in New England, it's like a strip mall. mall. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. So he'll build like the the base building is what they call it and then the tenants will come in the stores will come in and build their like stores themselves yes. um but he puts up the walls and gets all the stuff going so he um, builds a wall he builds walls yeah uh i am a veterinary technician by trade um so instead of chasing dogs right now i just chase james mm -hmm. uh, good work for you so i work for a veterinary office um i do reception stuff and I'm also a technician, so I'm a dog and cat nurse. Um, so, which entail, you know, drawing blood and taking vitals and doing some really gross things to dogs you probably don't want to know about. Yes, not in a cooking show today. Yeah, I know. No. You don't want to know where these hands have been. I made her wash them before it started, okay, yeah. guys? Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Doyle, don't worry. Doyle has been avoiding me. Yes, he has. He's like, stop touching I really me like want that. I trim his nails. I have this, like, I know. He doesn't. I know. It's a but thing. Like, it's my thing. I know. You love it. But your dogs are crazy and they actually don't mind my it. My Shebas will come to me and roll over on their backs and put all four paws in the air to get That's, nail trims. No. That is not, not Doyle. Common. Like, he screams bloody murder and he's like, Miss, she's trying to kill me. And it's like, no, I'm not, but whatever. Does your Boston bestie watch your YouTube channel? Sometimes. <laughs> You're such a brat. Um, so I You don't... should tell the story about this afternoon when I was in the shower. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Took me a minute to remember what you were talking about. Okay, do I watch your channel? Yes and no. Yeah. Okay. I don't watch a lot of the planning videos. I don't watch a lot of the financial planning videos. I don't, it's not stuff that I do. Yeah. Or I think about, so I don't watch those. If she puts up a video that's like, an organization video or a haul sometimes like when she posted her haul with like the coffee creamer which was for me mm -hmm. um like i watched a little what? bit of that i if i have a minute i'll try and click on whatever video she posts um so yes i watch her channel as much as i possibly can but if it's like all planning videos i'm like Meh. yeah um it's just not her speed and that's which okay. is funny because one of the questions one of the other questions is yes. do i plan yeah no but i have a planner she um, does more like a memory keeping scrapbook i yeah print out little pictures um, yeah. and I'll, grab, I'll like, grab it and show you in a minute. She's a Polaroid um, zip and it's more of a memory keeping right. thing. It's right yeah. So she does planning, but it's more of, um, so she yeah. got me into the Erin Condren planners, yes. which they're pretty. They are very pretty. Um, but like, you know, here, let me find a good page that actually has pictures. I'm really bad at it. It's okay. Like, we were planning earlier, like last night yeah. we planned a little bit or she planned a little bit. I 
just wrote out some of my plans because I do all of my planning okay. online. So we went on a trip to Aruba recently in April. So this is like my, if you can see, um, I like just print out little pictures yeah. of memories for each day. And um, so I can kind of go back and see what we did that day. And like, I got, this is my little dude yeah. here. And um, you know, pictures of things we've done each day. So like, like on April 23rd, we apparently ran around our front yard. There you go. <laughs> so this is my plan. So this afternoon, um, Emily was in the shower and I was down here just hanging out watching TV. Um, she got cable. <laughs> I did. Um, Thanks to Phil. And Doyle was like hanging out with me sitting on the couch and then he would go upstairs and he would come down. And he came down and he like went to the front door like he had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And I was like, I have two dogs. I can totally take you out. So I opened up the closet, right? And I was like, I was like, oh, do I let me grab your leash? And I'm like, oh crap, where's, where's leash? the leash? And I'm like, wait, I know this one. It was in a video like last week. She was like organizing things and the <laughs> leash was right there. So I found the leash. She did. Proud of myself. So yes, I watch her channel. For to find leash. out where leashes are. Right. Yes. To find leashes <laughs> and to make sure she got me coffee creamer. <laughs> that too. What does your bestie like most about living in Boston? I'm from Massachusetts too, but I'm in Western Mass. I love going to Boston Public Market when I'm there. So I don't live in Boston. She lives in the burbs of the I Boston. I live in the suburbs. Um, it's about 40 minutes to the south, going like Cape Codish directional. Um, so I like Boston as a city. I grew up in California, mm -hmm. in Napa Valley. Why? I moved to Boston in 2005. What do I like about Boston? It's a small city. I grew up near San Francisco, which is huge and ridiculous, and you get lost going five feet in either direction. <laughs> so Boston's nice, you can navigate it. In the summer, it's amazing. There's so much to do in Boston in the summer. What do I like best about living where I live now? I know like what, I, what we have, where we have now, we couldn't have in California. Um, the construction industry is so weird out there. Um, the house market is ridiculously expensive. Um, we have a nice house in a nice mm -hmm. suburb of Boston, and I don't. I, I know that wouldn't be possible in California. So I like that. I like that the cost of living is more reasonable than California. More reasonable than California. It's still high. Cause, yeah, because it's Boston. Because it's Boston, but yeah. it's still a city. Um, things that I, I like the culture of Boston. Boston's a great cultural city. There's a ton of different things to do. Mm -hmm. um, they're big on like their Irish festival and they're big on their music and they're big on their, you know, they celebrate everything. <laughs> I mean, when um, I was there, it was like a lot of like history. Yeah, the history. I'm a history nerd. Even like downtown, so. it was like, they're all like all these like historical pavers and like yep. all the buildings were historic, yep. be restored beautifully. And you know, it's just like a big historical town. And everything, even the new stuff being built is true to its roots, which is yeah. nice. I just, I don't know, I like, I hate winter. It sucks. Yeah. Snow, awful. Pretty when it comes down the first day. Awful the rest of the time. Yeah, yeah. don't want to drive don't in it. Don't want to drive in it. <laughs> uh, Especially in Boston. Oh, like, the traffic sucks. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Boston is, is home now. So I like it, mm -hmm. it's home. And you've been there for how long? Since 2005, so. Wow. These are some interesting questions because I don't think we have any answers, but we'll like try. What are the three things that you agree on and three things you disagree on? I don't, we agree like, on everything. To me, we don't No, really... we don't agree, we disagree on rose gold. Yeah, that's it, rose gold, hashtag yeah. rose gold lover and hashtag rose best. gold hater. No, not, like, even my planner has got rose gold. I know, I saw that and I was like, get like, out, <laughs> get out. So maybe rose gold is the only thing that we disagree on. We are the same person. So like, do you disagree with yourself? Yeah. No, not really. Not All right, well the cupcakes are done. The, uh, this is having a problem. So we are gonna change out the battery and we'll come back in a little bit when we start frosting those cakes. Ta -da. This is really hot on my hand. I'm gonna put it, over put it down now. All right, so we are back. The cupcakes have cooled, so we are gonna be making the cream cheese frosting now. And we're gonna be following the directions. We're gonna follow the directions. We're gonna try this time. Um, that are on this little 
thingamajig. Quarter pound, 125 grams of cream cheese at room temperature, which it should be at room temperature now because it's been out for a little while. We have finished the bottle of wine. We have. I have like well, the teeniest amount. Oh my God, I'm a Sheba. I have a oh, butter thumb. Hey, hey butter. did you guys know that we went to go see the Butterheads at the <gasps> Minnesota State I Fair? I saw Butter Princess. Yeah, so this she is basically the rest of this. But like, like, so this stick of butter, like imagine it about like, like the size of me. Basically her, like the, like double her body. And they like carve a head. Yeah, it's it was, amazing. It was weird. It was weird, but it was good, but it was weird. Um, so a quarter what? A quarter pound of cream cheese, 125 grams. So this is 226, so do we have a guesstimate? Sure, I mean it's not bad to have more Frosting. frosting. But like then that would throw off our fro our cheese to sugar ratio. True that. So like um, most of this, but not all. Yeah. Okay. Like just go with it. Using an electric mixer, beat the cream cheese and butter together yeah. on a medium speed until smooth and creamy. Just beat it. Smooth and creamy. Just beat it. Okay. Smooth and creamy. I She wants to try this cream cheese frosting. There's some cream cheese frosting on the counter. There's some on the counter, but I would I would say you need to get a little bit from the bowl. Yeah. Because the bowl frosting is it's where it's pretty at. tasty. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just okay. I mean, mess. You stick your finger in. Stick your finger. Just go for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not, we're all friends here, right? Oh, that is delicious. Right? Yeah. Mama mm -hmm. approved. Okay. Where's those cupcakes? She we're like we're working on it. We're working on it. Mama? Yeah? Beat Do it? I get to lick them again? You want a beater, not a beer, a beater. I'll take a beater. She wants a beer. Beater! Okay. Hand off. Thank you. She wants that. No, oh, I want that. Okay. <laughs> All right, now Do we're going to have a pastry bag? No, but I'm going to learn. Okay. This is a pastry bag lesson. <laughs> I mean. You want to cup it? I thought right? this was a sexual education lesson. And you want to fold it down, That's what right? Trying to do. No, I know, but you do it on your hand. Oh, okay. Okay, because you got a nice, you need a nice little good cuppage. Okay, you got it. Holding onto the cuppage. Okay, and give it a good small oh, cool. These bags aren't the greatest bags, but okay, okay, you get a little. Okay, oh, here we go. And then you take this frosting. And you put it into there. Yeah. Oh, our fingers have already been on it. That's so. all right. We're all friends here. Yeah. That's what we said. We're basically twins, so we're basically sorry. related. Mm-hmm. We should have our DNA checked. <laughs> right. I did actually. I'm a lot less Native American than I was told. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Oh man, here we go. Oh, oh that's, a, that's big... a that's a big one. Ooh, look at that. Look at you go. It's like you never knew how to pastry bag. I've before. never done a pastry bag before. <gasps> Can you? So and the collar goes on. Oh, this hold it all so in. good. What did you do? God damn it! Did you ruin Christmas again? No. All right, hold on. Fucked it up. Hi, oh. welcome back. We just made some frosting and now we're gonna put it in a bag. Okay. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. What we are we doing now? Okay. Oh, you put that in first? You put this in the bag. <laughs> nice. Hey, I used to bake all the time. Fucked that one up big. Oh, it up, says. Do you still want to do that before we put yeah, the thing? Yeah, I do. Okay. okay absolutely. I don't know what's going on, guys. A baking semi-masterpiece. <laughs> Terrible at this. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna hold it again. Okay, I can hold it. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this looks cool. Oh my this gosh. is only because I totally screwed up the first time. 
Let's oh no. See. Yeah, make it make the hole bigger. What the heck was that? You told me to make the hole bigger. It's not that we will not be selling these later. <laughs> these are not for general resale. <laughs> these are for our own consumption. Oh, it pooted. Yeah, it did <laughs> pooted. Sounds like a doyle. <laughs> Sounds like a doyle poos. Let's put it down. Ah. So we can like kind of see what's We're going to decor. All right, I really want to decorate. Okay, so now we have the oh, decorations. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay. We're going to bust these out. We should have mm. done this beforehand. We're not professional. Planners. Okay, so we've got those. Yep. And we've got these. All right, she's gonna frost one while I do this. Oh my God, look at how good that looks. That looks so cute. Look, it's like lines of dollops. Oh, you do know I used to decorate cakes for a living, right? No, what the uh, heck? How do I not know all these random weird things about you? I managed an ice cream shop. I made ice cream cakes for a living. Who oh, no. knew? Well, you're like the perfect person to have on my channel to show me how to not do things properly. Because I don't know how to do anything. Look at this, mom. I gotta watch this operation over here. Look at this situation. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's like doing it to the max. The girl has talent. I was not gonna do it that way. It's not? Not how you were planning it? No. It was not how I was planning on doing anything. Who would even eat that? You. A cupcake for Mama Goldsberry. Oh, well, this is for Mom. We're gonna leave that one here. We'll take oh, some that is so you beautiful. All right, so here's how I would do mine, which is like clearly not exciting. <laughs> um, all right, so I think I would start on the outside and then work my way to the inside, but I don't really understand how to do this. Like, with the so it's all about this. The top, okay. like the right hand. So look. Watch. Oh God, here we go. Okay. It's all about, it's all about, okay. So you twist. Yes. And you squeeze, right? So you're squeezing here. Yeah. And this is your guide. Why are you so good at this? You're like a freaking witch. So I'm, all, everything is in this hand. Okay. Twist. I want to do it a different way, but I don't think it's going to look good now. All this like wizardry is happening. It's freaking Harry Potter up in here. It's just like I'm just frosting a cupcake. Twist. Oh, harmony. Lots of twisting. <laughs> okay. It's all in this hand. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Okay. But I really wanna do twist. like. Oops. Sorry. Oh. Alright, mine looks pretty stupid. Shut up, Mom! Mom! Mom, I'm your favorite daughter. Shut up! I know Shut up, that. Mom! I know that. Somehow Kristen became my favorite daughter. I God don't know how damn that it. happened. Kristen's now gonna take over my channel. Cause this Welcome to Favorite Guy, Kristen. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my finger in that thing. Look at how pretty that is with the I mean glitter. Who I can put shimmer dust on mine. <laughs> put some shimmer shit on there. Put it on there. Do more. I will, but you got to, it's like gentle, it's like a, like a, careful, uh, gentle, gentle, careful. It's like a, it's a, it's a, you know, like, it's like a procedures to shimmer. There's you procedures. Know, you're gonna, you're gonna have glitter all over your- That's all right, we're fine. Your kitchen okay. here now. All right, so I'm gonna use this one, which clearly doesn't call the candle to Christians because she's now the favorite. <laughs> See, this is what I was gonna do originally, is just a flower in the center, and that was it. Like that's all I was gonna do, but it clearly that's not good enough. That's very pretty, Emily. You are such a freaking liar. <laughs> and like maybe one little like thing. Oh, uh, right. Very nice. Mm. It's like I got the sportsman's award or something. Oh my gosh! Ah, look, you met. Oh, you didn't mess up. That was on purpose. God dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you messed up on purpose. Nope, that was for reals. Oh, look at oh, those man. little mountains. They're like nipples. <laughs> They're like nipple mountains. So what is gonna be there? Oh, there's another mountain of nips. Gosh dang it, what the hell is wrong? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do the like, okay, hold on. 
wouldn't it be like kissing and be like, I'm so good at this. Those are actually pretty good. I know because I'm freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not awesome. Hold on. See, you get the hang of it after a minute. I feel like I should be on those cupcake war shows, like without the. Very good. Very good. I want a big one in the middle because I'm gonna cover that up with a bow, a red bow. You know what you're doing. Oh no, look, there's like, oh, whatever. You put things in it. I did. All right, so then I put a bow on it because everybody needs a bow in their lives. This is some good nipples, Emily. I like the nips. What can I say? You're doing good, Em. Okay. I thought you were gonna start singing Oh Canada for a second. Oh, Canada. Canada! Okay, Mama, which one's the best? You're the judge. Oh, no. Okay, the Great so American down. The Great American Baking Competition. So now we're done, and now Mom gets to choose which <laughs> one she likes the best because to eat. she she gets to pick which daughter she likes the best. Also. She gets to pick which one she wants to eat, mm -hmm. and then oh, we gotta go up just a smidge because yeah. we're a little. We're a little mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. Um, yeah. You should come around. Well. Yeah, you Well, look at them now and then come around because you should be in the yeah, frame. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're all just so beautiful. She lies. She lies. She lies. <laughs> Doyle's in my spot. Oh. Doyle's in a cupcake for you. Doyle's ready for a cupcake as well. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, they're they're all really, really beautiful. She lies. Mm, they are. But you had to pick the most beautiful and the most delicious of them all. <laughs> Which one looks? <laughs> which one looks like it would hit your lips in the best way possible? I don't remember which ones I did. Do you I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making cupcakes. Yeah. And if you would like your face to be in the frame and not just your torso, you oh, can come down here. Hey there. Hey guys. Hi. Whoa. Hi. 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 Or oh. we can like stand up like normal people. Well, you know? like, okay. Oh. Hold on. I'll hold them. Yeah. I was gonna say we can like hold the. I'll hold them, and then oh. mom gets to choose which yeah. one she likes the now best. Now I don't have to do squats. <laughs> and also, which daughter she likes the best. <laughs> Pick the right one, mom. <laughs> or else you're gonna get a face full of them. All right, we're gonna turn around. Okay. Okay. See, these are the cupcakes. Cool. Let's see which one she chooses. Okay. Uh, um. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. You're gonna get backhanded, maybe. We don't know. We don't know. They're all lovely. I just, I can't choose. I just <laughs> pick two. Cause maybe you'll like her the best, or you'll like her and me the best, or okay. just me the best. All right. Okay. I think they're both gonna be Kristen's though, because let's be honest. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll pick two. Okay. The ugliest and the best. No, because mine's gonna be the ugliest and yours. No, just pick two. Okay. So, all right, so the, I'm gonna pick this one right here. Damn it! And there's a reason for that, is because I I am kind of a frosting. And this is not like a butt of frosting yeah. on it. It's, it's a cloud. It's, it's like a, yeah, it's like a big thing on the back. And the but other one? just to be really nice, I'm gonna pick this one right here. Damn it, you picked all Christmas? No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, it was yours. It was not mine. <laughs> this video is over. How about this one right here? That's because you know it's mine. <laughs> You know what? This is not going well. She's leaving in a couple weeks. It's okay. Yeah. I think I have to go home, like really. Rough. With all your cupcakes. I got. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> what? You're not gonna leave your cupcakes? You eat it. What kind of like demon are you? Come on. Let's eat cupcakes. Okay. I'm eating a cupcake. I'm just gonna choose this one because it's here. So I think this is Kristen's because it looks delicious. No, you made that one. I make this one. Well, whatever. It's freaking delicious. Well, see, it's freaking delicious. I think they're all freaking delicious, but you're picking like the best ones ever. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. That one is a good one. It's got lots of frosting on it. Yeah, it's got lots of All right, of so what should we do? Like a quick taste test and tell the people if we like it or not? What do you think? It's pretty good. Well, I'll go with them. Is it better than Carol's? No. Dang it! Well, no. <laughs> nobody can be better than Carol's red velvet. Cake. Mm, they're really right. good though. They are really good. good. But if I was making it from scratch, it would be more chocolatey. Like it's very yeah. unchocolated red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. But it came from from a mix too. So. Right. Like when you make real red velvet cake, you melt like mm. the chocolate into it. Mm. So I, would, I definitely need more chocolate than this. Because red velvet cake is just supposed to be chocolate that's dyed red. 
Oh. Uh, I really good. Okay, yeah, yeah, after that, I'll care for myself. It's really good. She's it's gonna really turn good. into a gremlin now. I know. You fed me after midnight. Damn it. She's gonna start molting. Well, we're gonna go. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. A drunk bake with me featuring Kristen from Boston and the favorite mama from Florida. Doyle's here too. Doyle's here too. Yeah. He's, He's just trying Ooh, to get to the cakes. There oh, is. there he is! Wow. Hey, it's like the whole family is here. Hi! Hi! But um, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want. If not, it's okay. And remember, all the links will are down, down below. below. So, anyway, I'm going. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! Later, Gators. Bye! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to